six, 22, 23. We're gonna use a RLD H10 Pro that can do 134A sniffing and we're gonna see if there's any leaks here. So we put the piercing valve all the way tighten. No leaks there. And then we're gonna go ahead and try inside. I turned off the refrigerator a little bit, so hopefully the freezing part has gone down. So actually this copper line goes everywhere, but this is the only thing I have access to because it goes like all over. Okay, no leaks there. And then to prove that, I'll be right back. Keep the video running, I'll be right back. Let's go ahead and test this thing. So I have a, a bottle of 134A here. It says 134A. We're gonna turn on a little bit. So you can hear it, it's on. Dang, maybe I put too much. It's going crazy. Mm -hmm. There's a sensor here that's getting old that I need to put like a hundred dollars in to replace it. Where's it gonna exist? You can see that once it reaches the gas, it will make a noise. I think that gas is still inside the system. All right, so this gas leak is so small that my H10 Pro is not picking up anything. Or I'm not sure where the leak is. Could it be on the another location. Now we're gonna use our traditional soap and water and see if there's any major leaks with soap and water. Let's turn on the light. Okay. So the piercing valve looks good. crazy bubbles. Obviously these lines go all the way in there, around, and like a lot of places, but I have to dismantle like half the refrigerator to get to it. So I'm just gonna hope for the best. Hopefully this charge can last for three years and you get no phone calls and three years later say, hey young, I'm not cold anymore. <laughs> and then uh, AI is probably gonna be like taking over the world in three years. So this refrigerator would probably be really cheap then already. <laughs> all right, later. Thanks for watching. <laughs>